Hey, so this is Gary. I'm just going to show you how I create some extra machines for my lab. So I'm just going to create three new machines. And the script here is going to go through and create the Hyper-V boxes. So you could see I had my count start at 60 and I wanted to go through 90, but I only want to make three, but that's where uh, the numbers are that I want. So up here, it's going to actually go ahead and create the virtual machines. And um, so what it's doing is it's creating them in Hyper-V and then it's grabbing the MAC address out of it. And then it's going over here and populating this stuff into Config Manager. You can see here, uh, 60 was just created and so was 62. I already had one with 61, so it skipped that. And then it's going ahead and uh, placing them into the all systems. You can see they haven't shown up yet in all systems, uh, but they will shortly. And let's go back to the script, see what's going on here. All right, so it's tr triggering an eval here. So it's gone through and it's created 60. It's created 60, 60, 62, and 63, which are my three new VMs over here in Hyper-V. So you can see here there's 60, 62, and 63. They're all off currently. We're going to go ahead and open up 60 and keep that there. You can see now it's uh, triggering the evals. So we should see it showing up here in all systems soon. Yep, there they are, 60, 62, 63. And then I had them also put into this collection, all OSD required deployment. And what that has is a required deployment. This required deployment is just my OSD required deployment. And that way when it comes up, so now we're just gonna wait here. It should be kicking off uh, one of these machines here shortly. There it is. Script just kicked this guy off. So it kicked off uh, starting number 60. You can see it booted to Pixie. And now the, what the script here is going to do is going to wait three minutes before it starts the next one. So I don't overload my server by starting them all at the same time. Uh, you can change that if you know it takes, you know, a couple hours for your things to image or 20 minutes or whatever it takes for your VMs to image. You could adjust this to, you know, only have like three or four imaging at the same time by setting it to five or 10 minutes apart. I've just got it set to three. I can handle three going within the next few minutes. It's not a big deal. Uh, so we're just gonna watch this because that's uh, fun to watch progress bars. Um, in the meantime here, let me show you a little bit more of the script. But basically, uh, I have it checking out Config Manager and grabbing anything that looks uh, based upon a predetermined name. It looks for any of the machines in there and then it, it checks to see if there's any machines inside of this scope uh, that I have defined. And if there are, it will skip it. Otherwise, it will go ahead and start adding them. See, it will say it already exists, which it would have done up here for 61. Yeah, see, right. Uh, 61 already existed. So then it uh, skips 61 and continue with 62 and 63. But then when it gets down here, uh, it put, and then it puts all those names into uh, a variable. At this point, it goes ahead and creates everything. And um, to get the MAC address is what I need to create the object in Config Manager. I go ahead and start the VM for just 10 seconds, and then I uh, kill it by forcing it off, but it, by this point I have a MAC address and then I can go ahead and insert the MAC address into CM. Uh, and then when I'm adding the CM, I add it into my OSD required deployment collection as well, which is then how it gets this assignment to it. You can see OSD is already kicked off and after a bit I will have a fully 
uh, created machine by just clicking play. I hope that was interesting, and if you're very curious, uh, let me know.